we have a semicircular glass ball. Okay, when semicircular glass ball, okay, the light ray is hitting like this. Okay, where's the normal at this point? Where's the normal over here? So you always ask yourself, where's the normal? Okay, the normal uh, is always towards the center of the of the semicircular glass ball. If it's circle, uh, a circular glass ball, the normal is always towards the center. So it's like that. Okay, the normal heads towards the center like this. So in this way, your angle of incidence, uh, what is your angle of incidence when it goes straight through the very first case? They ask you, why does the light ray go straight through? You simply answer and tell them that it goes straight through without bending because I told you last week, yes, Kaiser, you don't answer the angle. What's our reason? Angle, why is zero? Why is zero? Say again. Yes, say properly that the angle of incidence is zero degrees. So when you ask, why doesn't it bend? Oh, it went straight right through. Why? Because angle of incidence is zero. Okay, you can also say because the light ray is perpendicular to the surface. Alright, also can. So that's the first case. Now, then after that, you shift this light ray here so that it has a certain angle. Right? Then what happens? The light ray goes from glass and then bends out into air. Okay, so uh, you all know how to apply the formula, I hope. Okay, let's see and test uh, whether you can remember or not. So this is angle A and let's say this is angle B. Uh. So when I use N equals sine I over sine R, uh, guys, N over, which is on top, A or B? B. B. And then at the bottom will be? A. Okay, so remember the one always in air on top. You just remember that sure correct one. Okay, will not get it wrong. Okay, then when you explain things, uh, explain it this way. When I teach them uh, last year, I will say like that. When you are asked to explain, you use this thing called BOS to remind yourself what to write. So B is very simple. B stands for bend. So the first thing you say that how come uh, the light ray uh, uh, refract like that. So you say that most of the light bends what away from the normal. Okay, that's the first one. B settle. Okay, then you ask why. Then you talk about O and S. What do you think S stand for? You have to write your answer. What do you think S stand for? Anybody? Quick, you must answer quick, quick, quick. Forty-five minutes only. S stands for what? What aspect of the light? Speed. Speed. Correct. Good. Speed. So you need to talk about the speed. And then O stands for the optical sensitivity. Correct. So you just tell yourself, okay, every time you ask me to explain, hey, why the light ray go like that? Why the light ray go that way? You just remember B O S. So B, it bent away or towards. In this case, it bent away. So it bent away because the light was traveling. Okay, let's settle the O first. From a from an optically. Okay, this is glass to air. So optically. Uh, Javier, optically what? Denser. Denser medium to a mm, to an optically less dense medium. Okay, which cause the now we talk about four. Uh, we talk about S, uh, which is the speed of light, which cause the speed of light to. Your light to what happens when it goes from glass to air? So in air, the speed of light will what increase or decrease? Increase. increase. Correct. Okay. Now isn't that easy to explain? So remember, when you ask to explain, uh, the guideline, uh, when I tell you things that I teach you, I ask you uh, hey, how to explain. You must make sure you write that BOS. You don't say hey, one not only uh, explain why must write so much. Just write uh, Okay, it's very simple. B pan away of the words. O optical density. Okay, moving from dense dense to more dense or what? Okay, and then the speed of light. How does it change? Increase or decrease? Okay, so simple enough. So what happened here? You increase the angle of incidence. Increase, 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 increase. Now, okay, Ching Lai. Hope you can follow. Okay, this is page. I don't know what. <laughs> okay, uh, angle of incidence is increase uh, until it's equal to something called critical angle. Now, what happens at critical angle? Okay, this is just a name, critical angle. So every medium will have a certain critical angle. So maybe the, this glass is 42 degrees. 
Maybe this water is 40 degrees. Whatever it is. When this angle here, this angle of incidence reaches what we call the critical angle, okay, the light ray still bends outwards, but it bends at what? Okay, what's the angle of refraction, Caden? What's the angle of refraction? Ninety degrees, correct. So when the light ray comes out at ninety degrees, ah, uh, that means the angle of incidence. We give it a name. What's the name? Critical. critical angle. Got it. So at critical angle, what happens? So I ask you. A lot of people cannot explain one. You find it so difficult. Actually, it's not difficult. Think you found your paper, no? Oh, oh you. Yeah. Didn't bring. Actually, I found it. I found it. Ah. Okay. So, what happens at critical angle? The light ray comes out at what? Magic number? What? 90 degrees. Okay? So, it comes out at 90 degrees. So, what does it mean in real life? It means, uh, if you want to see this light ray, uh, your eye has to be here. Okay? At the surface. Then, you can see the light ray uh, coming out at 90 degrees. Okay? So, it is still refraction. Alright? So, this angle of incidence is called the critical angle all right if you are asked to explain case three uh what happens to the light ray at critical angle you say the same thing bos again okay so thing like uh, for your sake i tell you what's bos uh. bos stands for b stands for bend away okay at critical angle it bends away at 90 degrees right okay bends away from no uh, the normal at 90 degrees then o is traveling from optically more dense, which is this glass, to optically less dense, which is air outside. And then speed. The speed of light increases. Okay? So you explain, don't say, hey, don't know. He never teach me. This one he teach me, this one never teach me. Same, uh, POS. Okay? So... Uh, sir, can I not say that I record for her? I am recording for her. Okay? Yeah. Uh, whether she watch is another thing. Okay, so uh, so this is at critical angle. Case two was smaller than critical angle. So when smaller than critical angle, it's just a normal refraction. All right. Then now case four, what happens? What happens when it's larger than critical angle? So if you exceed critical angle, uh, the light don't come out. Okay, you can look all you want over here. You can look here, everywhere here. You cannot see the light. It cannot come out. It doesn't come out anymore. What happens when? Uh, you continue to increase uh, is larger than critical angle all the the light is reflected back into the glass block okay there's no reflection so more than critical angle this effect occurs and what's the name of this effect can you all remember from last year total correct total internal reflection okay Total internal reflection has taken place. So when you explain total internal reflection is no longer BOS, it is the two things you must write. What are the two things? Two conditions. Very good. One, the angle of incidence is larger than the critical angle. That's the first point you should write. Okay, so this angle uh, maybe is 60 degrees. It's more than critical angle. Critical angle maybe let's say 42. Uh, okay, so that is one condition. Condition number one. Then the second condition which most people always forget to write. Okay, first one they usually can remember. The second condition often forgotten, which I hope you don't, is that the light ray you must mention is traveling from... Uh, think again, look carefully. Uh, and don't just say more than yeah, what? Yeah, it's yeah. traveling from an optically more dense to optically less dense medium. Okay? So, what does this mean? It means that this cannot occur uh, if, let's say, it's trying to go from air to glass. So, total internal reflection can only occur when it's, let's say, uh, glass to air, water to air. Air to water, cannot. Okay? Right? So, Utrum still got swimming pool, right? Uh, so, very underutilized, I guess. They just clean it. 
I just clean it very good. So PE lesson got swimming on. Yeah. Mm, okay. So if Javier, you were swimming here, and if you uh, set out a ray of light which is more than a critical angle, okay, all your light will go back into the pool. Right? So nobody uh, outside can see you. You'll be invisible to the people outside. Outside the pool all looking where you are, cannot see you. Okay. If la, you will, if you give out light rays which are more than a critical angle. Right? But of course that doesn't happen. La. Okay. If you were giving out at critical angle, la, then what will happen? Your light ray will hit here and then it will bend at 90 degrees. So anybody wanna see you uh, has to bend down to the edge of the swimming pool and then see ah they can see you. Okay? So interesting in that sense, huh? Okay, so these are the four cases. So for the normal one two uh case one, why the light ray goes straight through angle is than zero. Case two, case three, just BOS the thing. Okay? Jing you know what do I mean by say B O S? B stands for Bend away and ninety. Bend away. Okay, or towards uh, it can be when you're explaining B stands for bending uh, O optical density, S stands for what? Speed. Yes. Okay. So now now you know what's critical angle, uh, how you calculate critical angle. Can you remember the formula from last year? N equals yet another N formula. N equals uh, what? Sine 90. Sine 90. I think so. Sine 90. Okay, you sign when you sign 90, what value you get, you know? One. One. Correct. One over sine C. Okay. What you say, uh, actually this formula, uh, some people say, wow, this brand new formula is not, uh, okay. Because a light ray come out in 90 degrees, I put here 90. And when the light ray comes out at 90 degrees, the angle incidence, I give it a name called critical angle. So sine 90 equals 1. Uh, so it's 1 over sine C. Okay, so N equals 1 over sine C. So you want to find the critical angle, you must know this formula. Uh, okay, which is not very difficult to use. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so uh, the definitions. Okay, JV are going to have tests on this. This is the one which is hard to remember, critical angle. Very hard to remember for students. Okay, the total interflection one is okay. Okay, come very quickly. Everybody, tell me. Total interflection is the what reflection? You cannot use back the word total. So use the word. Very good. Who say complete? Okay, then complete. Very good. Yes, complete reflection of light ray inside and okay. Now you don't think carefully. Ah, uh, which one? Uh? More dense or which is this one should be more dense or less dense? Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Yeah, is the optically denser medium, yes, okay. To uh at the boundary with an optically less dense medium. Okay, so that's one condition. Okay, and then after that the critical angle is defined as the angle of incidence in N. Okay, again. Quick, tell me which one? Denser or less dense? Critical angle always in the denser medium, huh? In the denser medium. For which the angle of refraction is uh for which the angle of refraction in the what? Optically less dense medium is 90, de 90 degrees yes okay then okay then again this is again filling up the same thing again the two conditions write down i think i don't want to write uh, i'm lazy you all write yourself Ching line what to what you must always have the word optically first. Optically. Yes, optically denser medium to optically. Yes, yes. Ah, okay. Then after that, the one, the second one is the easy one. Ah, huh? always remember one. The angle of uh, incidence must be greater. Always greater. Greater than what? Greater than the. Greater than yes. Okay. 
So that's the idea behind it. Huh? So when you ask explain total inflection, make sure you write down the two conditions. Okay, don't leave it out. Right? Okay, that took 15 minutes of recording. Okay. Now, after this is about practice. I don't know how your practice is. Or oh, do you want me to go? Okay, what is this theory over here? Flip a few, two pages down. Okay, where can you find application of total internal reflection? Uh? You find it in glass prisms uh, and optical fibers. Okay, optical fiber very important, uh, especially for our age now where we use broadband internet and so on. Okay, so prism uh, is like this. So for glass prism like that, okay, the light ray hits here. Look, where does it go? This is A, B, C. At A, B, how do I draw? Straight, Straight through, right? Yeah. Yes. So, if you ask, explain why, Cadence say, you will say it goes straight through because? Angle incidence is zero. Angle is zero. Correct. Okay. Now, over here, you got to test. Two things can happen over here. Two things. What are the two things? Well, A, the light ray bent away bend out okay b also possible what happens here like that a normal refraction out b it is larger than the critical angle right okay so these are two possibilities so now uh, you always have to see hey, which one is it uh, which are two possibilities you don't always say ah for sure critical, more than critical angle uh, so it will be always b you got to see for yourself okay so in this case, if let's say I just tell you uh, that uh, this angle over here is 45 degrees and then the critical angle is let's say 42 degrees uh, then it's B lah. total internal reflection occur okay then it will, it will bend like that it will go straight up okay so it's 45 degrees means here is also 45 then it reflects at 45 as well okay and going super duper fast can follow uh. Okay, so the application they use it in glass prisms. Glass prisms you can find it in cameras, binoculars, and so on. Okay. The other one, the important uh, application is optical fiber. Okay, so optical fiber sends signals very fast internet. That's why you got fast high speed internet because of optical fiber. If without this, uh, our internet will be very slow, and you all cannot play games. Okay, so. Is made of a core so inside is more dense when it's more dense means the refractive index is higher and then the eh? sorry wrong ah oh, yeah yeah correct higher okay higher refractive index and then the cladding cladding is what the outside coating the outside coating will have a lower refractive index so it's like more dense to less dense huh? Okay, so the light can even bend, uh, travel through a glass rod when it's bent. Huh? Okay, so over here, y'all can fill up. Nah. Okay, fill this up. I'm sure you can fill it up. Okay, first blank, Javier. Angles, if the angle incidence is? Lower. Lower. Read, you must read the whole thing. Nah. Larger than the critical angle, then what occurs? When the angle incidence is larger than critical angle, what occurs? What is it called? It's only either refraction or total internal reflection. Total internal reflection occurs, yes. Total internal reflection occurs. Okay, total internal reflection occurs. Okay, and then the light goes back in. Okay, so instead of light coming out, it, 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 it bend back right into the fiber. Okay, so you got multiple total internal reflections. Okay, so over here again is critical angle, and then uh, you have multiple total internal reflections taking place. Okay, all the way. All right. So where do you use endoscope? Uh, where do you use the optical fibers? As I said, okay, to ca carry data in the internet. Let's say communication signals and in the endoscope. Endoscope is, you know what's endoscope? Yeah, 
Okay, they, they stick it down your mouth, your throat down, and you see what's in your stomach, right? Right, it's thin fiber, okay? So from there, they can see uh, what's inside your stomach and so on. It's like a color wire. Huh? It's like a wire. Uh, it's like a wire, it's very thin. Yeah, but can you imagine anything going down your throat? It's how uncomfortable it is, right? Okay, so that's optical fiber, that's endoscope. Okay, so what are the advantages? Uh? The advantages of optical fiber, uh, it can bend. That's why it can go down your throat. Uh, uh. Okay, then uh, it can carry information over, guess what? Uh? Of course, this must be long distances. Uh, okay, very long distances. If you send electrical signal, uh, also good, but the problem is electrical signal will generate heat, so the signal will be lost after some time. Okay, and then they are high carrying capacity, they can carry more data than a copper wire. Okay, so and they are lighter than copper wire, copper is very heavy actually. All right, okay, so the these are advantages. Uh. Don't, don't just say uh, they are faster. Uh, okay? you, it's better to say they carry more data than simply say they are faster. Alright? Okay. So that's...